Okay, folks, Let's see how this works here. Um, been having some idling issues with the old Evo. Decided to do a boost leak test. There's my boost leak tester on the compressor housing connected to the air compressor. Um, typical boost I have set at 19 psi, 20, 20 psi right now. Um, but I've been noticing some weird idling, so I thought I'd do a boost leak test. Um, did it a few minutes ago and noticed from my manual boost controller that it's leaking air really significantly through the wastegate line, through this pinhole right here. You can focus in on that later. Um, and I'm pretty sure it didn't do that before, but we're gonna crank this up here to about 10 PSI. See what it does. Mm. About five. There we go, 8 PSI. Plug it up. Not hearing any of the boost leaks. And that's only at, what, 5? No, 10. 10 PSI. We'll roll that off. Get that out of there, and it'll stop. So that didn't sound normal. I, don't, I swear I didn't do that before. I'm gonna take the boost controller off and clean it out. Some people were saying that it gums up sometimes inside, and then I'll uh, see what happens. Okay, so I took the boost controller apart. A um, little bit of oil on the ball, but nothing too bad. I have the upgraded Pro Spring, the more, um, the one with higher, what do you call it? resistance I guess for the uh, more boost I guess the lesser spring only goes like 14 12 to 18 or something like that 14 to 18 um, so I put the bigger one in there because I maxed out the other one but yeah so anyway spring looks good ball looks good these look good um, this thing's pretty straightforward there's not a lot to it it's just an open hole this thing pushes down on the spring easy um, put it back in and see if that does anything. If it not, we'll uh, try blocking it off like people have said online and we'll see what happens. Okay, boost controller is back in. Um, left it at the same boost setting that I had it before. Everything's still hooked back up. Let's put a little bit of pressure. Little by little. Come on. There we go. Needle's moving now. About five. Eight. Ten. No leak. Ten PSI. Let's go a little bit more. About twelve. Eleven, twelve. No leak, but I definitely hear something hissing back there. Well, that was interesting. Okay, I'll put this up so other people can see that. That If you get that noise, some people say it's typical and you're supposed to block this thing off, but I like being able to have everything in my car at once when I'm testing stuff, so booyah, later.